your impressions of me have changed. <laughs> well, at first I required your strength. So naturally I had to be as cordial as possible. But now that we're partners bound by contract, we may do away with such pretentious formalities. There's no need to use a vision in affairs that Mora can solve. As far as affairs only a vision can solve go, I know of only one. That captain. She clearly receives the adoration of many, but will always be the first to disregard the rules. The fine she has paid would be enough to buy her a whole new ship. Perhaps you've never heard me speak like this. All that can be said has been said, both the good and the bad. But she still does as she pleases. Forget it. Keep Beidou out of my sight. Zhang Li of the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. He's very versed in a great deal of affairs. Although, such excellent pawns are of no use to me until I know their weaknesses. The second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. People like him can't stand the sight of me, which is only to be expected. I have no intention of troubling him either. Those who have different beliefs should not work together. That girl from One Min Restaurant. Her suspicion towards me is always written all over her face. <laughs> I wonder what face she would make if only she knew how much I helped finance that restaurant. One cannot afford to be overly reliant on others, even when it comes to Ganyu. There is a Liyue saying which goes, even the most meticulous can fall prey to happenstance. When there are important affairs to deal with, it is always safer to investigate and resolve them personally. I presume you mean the girl whom Ganyu has taken under her wing. <sighs> Do not worry. I have no plans to make this matter public. I am content to extend some leniency to the odd bit of mischievous maneuvering by that boat captain. One thing, though. Yayo seems to have become somewhat enamored with seafood lately. You should try to convince her to include some more fruits and vegetables in her diet. The Yuhang. She has changed a lot recently. But is Liu a better off with the Yuhang we have now? Or the Yuhang we used to know? Only time will tell. The acting Grandmaster of Mondstadt. A strict and impeccable woman. Her flawless etiquette knows no fault. Even her letters are meticulously written and creased according to the prescribed rules. <laughs> it is such easily overlooked details that offer a glimpse into the true qualities of one's character. Yenfei. I suppose you could say she's a dear rival of mine. Or is she not so deft at explaining the meanders of the law and providing her clients with all sorts of cunning suggestions it would take me many more months to identify existing loopholes in the legal codices and tighten them one by one. I've been thinking about something lately. If I were to keep you in Liyue, perhaps, at the right time, I might be able to leverage the city to... For now, it's mere conjecture. I should really consider whether the investment is worth it some more. You can learn from me. And use Mora to make things a little easier for yourself. But remember, relationships built on Mora can only be relied on for a time. <laughs> and that is why I have never brought Mora into our relationship. What is it that you hold so dear that is making you so persistent? No, don't tell me. Give me more time to understand you myself. 